you're trying to talk about something or win over an audience with your ideas, a great presentation is important. A well-crafted presentation not only captures attention, but also makes your ideas easy to understand. Nothing does that better than clear, well-designed diagrams and visual aids that break down complex information into easy-to-understand pieces. That's why today I will be showing you one of the best AI tools for creating diagrams and presentation materials. This tool can help you transform your ideas into visuals that engage and persuade whether you're pitching a business proposal, teaching a class or mapping out a project. Stick around and I will walk you through the different graphs, templates and AI tools available to help you create standout presentations. For this video I will be using eDraw Max. This is what the interface looks like. Up top, we have different categories like analyzes canvas, flowcharts, mind maps, strategy and planning, marketing, organizational charts, and hundreds of others. The design and interface is very beginner friendly and beautiful. So every diagram here is editable. That means the different images, text, and icons can all be adjusted. Now, before I pick a template, let's create something from scratch so you can see the power of the AI tools in here. Let's say I want to create a mind map about the Matrix movies, including themes, symbols, motifs, and different meanings. As you might know, the Matrix movies are really deep and can be interpreted in different ways. So to make it easier to understand and analyze, I can create a mind map with the help of AI. I'll click on New up here, then choose Blank Drawing. Now simply go down to the star icon and click on it. Next, I'll click on the option bar where it says AI Diagrams and pick Mind Map. Here I simply describe what I want, create a mind map about the different themes, motifs, etc. in the Matrix movies. It doesn't take more than a few seconds and we have a beautiful presentable mind map breaking down the Matrix movies. How about a presentation about the solar system? Now let's add a quick summary about each planet. I picked list instead of mind map this time and asked it to give us a summary about each planet in our solar system. To change the color, we have this panel below with various colors. Just click on the one you like or hover over the different colors and it will change it automatically. Very easy and you do not even need much more to hold a lecture for an elementary class on this subject. For the next example, let's pick something more complex. So under the science and education category, there are a bunch of beautiful diagrams. I'll pick this one of the human heart where there is some text written down. I'll show you why this program is very unique compared to something like PowerPoint or your typical presentation creators. So here I want to quickly add a short explanation of every part of the heart using this diagram. To do that, I simply take a screenshot or use the snippet tool to capture our anatomy image of the heart. And this is the cool part. Under the AI section at the top, we have a small tool called Image Text Extraction. By uploading the screenshot of the diagram, we can extract all of the text. Once I have that, I'll feed it back to the AI and this time tell it to create a table explaining the different parts. Why not include another column and specify a sickness for each part of the heart? There we go. You see, combining the different tools with the editable diagrams can really help you create anything. Here, I did the same thing, but with a beautiful diagram of the brain instead. Just upload the image, extract the text, and now have the AI create a beautiful mind map, list, or flowchart, including whatever you want. Imagine if we had access to tools like this when we were younger. Maybe I wouldn't have had a YouTube channel and making a living by doing what I love the most. Instead, I would be a doctor and work 24-7. Let's switch from biology to technology. Under the UI UX section, there are a lot of useful templates if you're creating a prototype of a website or application. You have wireframes, sitemaps, and both iOS and Android user interfaces. Here is an iPhone UI. I like everything with it except the color of two elements. So let's edit them. Click on the section you want to edit. Here, I click on the female figure icons. Next, go to the menu on the right side and click where it says color. I'll pick a red one for this demonstration and I like it because it gives a good contrast to the green and blue color beneath it. As you might have noticed, every line and part of these templates can be adjusted so you have full control. This is great if you want to create something and use beautiful existing templates to get a head start. And if you don't like something, just select it and remove it. Now let's change the color of the green in the middle to something more blue. 
Alright, for the next part we have the infographics and they are my favorite. They look very interesting and there are a lot of images that can help the viewer remember the information that's being presented. Here is an infographic about growing succulents, which is typically plants with thickened swollen leaves or stems. You can use the different icon and elements here to create your own infographic about another plant. Or if you're looking for more shapes and figures, you can browse the menu on the left. Here I just want to add a carrot. So let's generate an image of a carrot and add it to the infographic below. Here is another beautiful infographic about sleeping problems and the most common issues that can cause it. You see how beautiful and presentable this looks? I learned a few things myself just by browsing through these templates and it can be a great source of inspiration for your next presentation or project maybe. In this one I chose a diagram about how SEO has evolved. I want to make the arrow more visible and add an outline around it with a separate color. To do that, I select the element that I want to edit, click on line on the menu to the right, pick solid line and you will be given a bunch of options. Go to the color and change it to something dark. There we go. We can also add shadows and the usual adjustments in the same menu. However, now I want to create a SWOT analysis for my SEO marketing company. So by clicking on the eDraw AI button down here, I can simply write, give me a SWOT analysis for a SEO marketing company. Now I won't cut the video so you can see how fast it creates it for us. Well, I didn't even finish my sentence and we have a beautiful presentation of the strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats for a search engine optimization marketing company. It added different elements, icons like the arrows and even a bullet point list summarizing the different parts. Now remember that you can always adjust it further. Here I don't like how there is no space between the bullet points so I'll double click the text and add an empty line in between. There we go. This looks much better. Now there is so much more inside eDrawMax that I will probably not be able to cover it all in one video. But I want to show you a few other things before we end this video. So on the section to the left we have another menu including symbols, text, images, icons, stickers, charts and widgets for adding QR codes or watermarks to your work. Here I want to add a shape behind the QR code so choosing from the symbol section I'll pick something I like. Once it's added to our template, we can resize it and adjust its position very easily. And if you want to arrange the layers and in this case put the shape behind the QR code, just right click and in the options choose send to back. And lastly, I want to add an image for the background. I'll pick this beautiful image of city buildings. Now let's resize it and send it to the back. And lastly, decrease its opacity until it looks good and doesn't draw too much attention. There we go. All right. I really hope you learned something new in this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next one. Bye.